Good afternoon, it's Brad here. Um, the sun actually came out for five minutes, so we thought we'd run out and uh, do a quick film clip here. I just wanted to talk a little bit about our uh, our lift extensions for our, our SLG78. I'm going to take these out now, and I want to show you how we put them on the other side. So come on around the back, and I'll show you how it works. I'm now here around the back of the screener, and the purpose of having these reversible is allows you to come around with your skid steer and also pick it up from the inside. There's two reasons why that's important. First reason is if you have a smaller skid steer and you can still come in with your bucket, pick it up and it brings the weight back around your machine so a smaller machine will have more lift capacity. The other reason for being able to do that is when you can, when you can put these lift extensions on the inside, you can come in and pick this up and drive right up onto your trailer. Benefit of that is we've designed this machine that's eight foot wide. The other people have tried to copy our designs. They've hung the engine box out the end that puts a screener at like 10 feet. So you don't have the ability to load that screener cro crossways on the trailer. It has to be turned and be lengthwise. So you can only haul just the screener to the work site. Then you either have to have a machine at the work site to take it off or you have to go get a different trailer to pick up your machine. This machine here weighs 2,000 pounds. Your average skid steer weighs anywhere from 6 to 8. So you can put both machines, screener and skid steer on the same trailer, transport to the site so you have all of your tools and your machines, everything you need to do your work in one trip. I'm going to run around the other side here with the skid steer. You'll see me pick this thing up, pack it around again so you can see how they work when they're mounted to the inside. Also, um, I came in from the inside, picked it up. The machine's much lighter when I pick it up from the inside because the weight is wrapped around the machine. So it gives you the ability to use all of the trailer. Um, if you've got, say, an 18 or 20 foot deck, room for the screener, room for the skid steer. The other thing I wanted to show you here is I, I uncoupled my bucket. So you can fit other attachments inside of this once it's on the trailer. You can have a tooth bucket, smooth edge other implements that you're wanting to use so you can get more tools to the work site using the best part of your trailer without having to make a second trip. One thing I wanted to show you with these is we've also put a, a hole in here and it doesn't matter whether it's on the inside or the outside you can drop your pin through here or you can use a three-quarter inch bolt uh, to simplify things five inches long slide this in, drop the bolt through, there's no way for this lift extension to come out. And I suggest that when you're moving this machine around, take advantage of that, make sure you use the bolt for safety reasons. 